Call him. So how about how about we? Pick it straight back up again. Uh I just want to No, everyone went up in a level, didn't they? So uh yeah. Um I think, you know, shall. Now to be fair, he's gonna end up doing more and more and more damage. He's definitely dead. Guts protruding from his abdomen and a beer bottle still in his hand. I'm going to set arrows. Uh, this looks just like my first boat. Fluffy made it for me. Oh. She looks very happy about that. The name Thor is engraved on the handles of each hammer. I wonder if these were crafted for a specific customer. <laughs> you can tell the swords are keen just looking at them. You can tell the sword is keen. Or swords are keen. I don't think you can find anything in there. Alexandra, you're a tracker, right? If you're asking because you don't know which ways to go, yes, I'm a tracker, but the bards would be very hard to track in the rain. Luckily, though, they could have only gone one direction, and that's north. The north we shall go. Once we make it out of town, we'll want to take a shortcut through the cave. If the bards are heading from town to town, they will certainly be headed to Dracus. I've never heard of Dracus before. Is it far? Is it far? Ordinarily, yes, but the shortcut leads to an old house a friend of mine used to stay in before his passing. No one should be there, so it will be easy to sneak through the cave and into the dra in into Dracus. Very well. Onwards, friends. Uh, we can't go in any of these places. Nope. They're still all bloody mental. <sighs> uh, can we ask going in there? We've been in there already, and that is empty. The hidden tunnel through the mountain is up ahead. It's not the safest route, but it's certainly the fastest. Any route is the safest route when you roll with your boy Pontius. <laughs> I'm gonna hold you on that. Me too. Alright, Groove. You know what? Playing this game really makes me want to play Shining Force. Shining Force is a spectacularly good game. Uh, I don't think there's anything to click on. Not yet, at least. Um, oh. Oh, well now, how do... How do we get onto that higher level, then? Ah, ha, ha. An elixir. We go through way too many of these things, shall we? Stop to use said them done. <laughs> Stimulant. I could use one of these about right, right about now. Tent. When it comes to use this, I'll set it up for us. Thank you, Abby. Yo. Uh, oh. On way down there. Nope. There we are. Oink. Alright, this is it. These are the tunnels that will lead us to Dracus. Keep your eyes peeled. I sense danger here. I, I, I see a skeleton. Skeleton. And another skeleton. And another skeleton. And nothing to fucking click on. Uh, I see the possibility of life's destruction. Oh, what? Can we not go down these things here? Oh, that's that. Oh, that's fucking with my goddamn eyes. Is that? That's a chest. Mixed herb tea was found. When I was little, my mother would brew this for me when I got sick. Uh, we are definitely going to bump into baddies here. I see that's actually higher and lower things. Right, will we not miss anything? Go up there and have a look at the book on the... Uh, on the whatever the fucking hell those things are called. On table, rest, and old journal. Table. We 
with torn pages. I wonder what this is. I've been traveling for days since Gorunga Town. My brothers and I grow weary, but we know that soon we shall bask in the glory and greatness of the God of Metal. We passed through Caraway Village and summoned a great beast in the name of Fuck. We wanted to talk with him, but he immediately charged into the forest and we lost his tracks. We moved on. My brothers and I tasked a tracker named Jackson back in the Twisted Forest for information. Uh, asked. I don't know where I got tasked from. Uh, on how to get to Dracus, and he told us of these secret tunnels that lead right into the town. I had to pay him extra for him to keep quiet, for we fear, for we have feared that we've been followed since we stole the book from the Temple of Fuck. Oh, Jackson, how could you? You know Jackson? We met him in the Twisted Forest. He told us that he hadn't seen the baths. Alexandria must be his sister. He had mentioned that she lived in Caraway Village, but I hadn't thought about it until now. Trust me, my brother would not have told them anything if he knew the harm that would come from helping the Dark Bards. I believe you. Also, we've run out of herbs to smoke, but we fear that Dracus has a large... Here, that Dracus has a large supply of the finest smokable delicacies in all of the land. Signed, Mustaine. <clears throat> Fuck yes! Finally some good news! <laughs> we should move quickly. God damn it. What the fucking hell are these things? Special cleave all motherfuckers in the face. Uh. No, we don't want to punish. We want to magics poison. Uh, we want to magic silence just in case. Uh, actually, right first. Attack, what are they? Cave behemoths. Um, I really ought... Wait, if we come up against cave behemoths again, presumably they're going to tell us what they actually are like next time. Uh, silence them just in case. Because um, every time I, like, I, I go to look, it's all question marks. And then I never look the next time I go into a fight with them again. Silenced, silenced, and failed. Beep, beep. Cleave, cleave. Dual attack! Oh, crikey. Shale is an awful lot harder. Special, you will cleave them all again. Uh, Alexandra. Armor break. Uh. That one. It's cool. Uh, magic. Just thunder. That one. Special cleave all. Uh, special armor break. That guy. Magic stone. That guy. Uh. Fight. Uh, magic cause poison and paralysis. Nice. Uh, heal yourself, and the guys just attack. My friends and family will be avenged! Level up fire weapon. Now who's a big deal, Pontius? Uh, mixed herb tea, pendant of the archer, and a medium... Would pretty much guarantee we know who's getting that uh, equip. Alexandria, change that shite. The pendant of the archer. A magical pendant that increases TP generation, evasion rating, hit rating, and agility. Uh, nice. Do that shit, man. Seeing as she is an archer. Uh, right. Carry on this way. Uh, left. Uh, 
large amount of potion. Take it you'll be wanting this, Bontius. Well, if you want to continue keeping you alive, I'm going to need it, aren't I? There hasn't been many things to click on in this dungeon. And things to beat up. Uh, right. Ah, no. They're all still question marks. Like, seriously? The last guys were stone giants as well, I'm sure. Although these guys look like happy stone giants. Uh, I wonder if Earth hurts them then or not. Special... Um, provoke. No. Cleave. The other guys can look after themselves. Special armor break. That guy... Um... Special... No one really needs to regenerate magic, to be honest with you. Uh... Oh, no, she has a different special now, doesn't she? She has fire weapon. Five turns, user gains fire attribute. Uh, I'm still going to armor break one of them, but I'll try the other one in a bit. And magic, stone. We'll give it a go. Uh, nope, they're not too weak to it. Ow! They do a lot of damage! They do quite a lot of damage! Uh, right. Magic. Heal. 250 plus HP. Um. Not frankly, items. Go on. We use that on shell. Alexandra special fire weapon. On self. Magic stone that guy. Ow, ow. Special uh Oh he's been stunned for fuck's sake. Oh um armor break that guy magic stone that guy Arguably, yes, I should be all concentrating on the time to be more effective in combat, but... Oh, shit. Didn't notice that. I like you all down. Uh, is she actually dead? Nope. Uh, that's special. Strong attack. Uh, items. Stimulant. Minus death. <laughs> uh, magic, heal, Alexandria. Items, small health potion, Alexandria, Pontius, magic, uh, stone, that guy. Execute. Everybody attack, and it will die. Another victory for the God of Metal. Fresh orange. Uh, right. Uh, yes, items. Items, I've got all of this food. Oh, increase max hit points by 50. Oh, I really ought to be using this shit then. Um... Max magic points by 10. Use that on Pontius. Agile herb on Alexandria. Uh, um, increases max hit points by 50 on Pontius. Uh, resource 12% of maximum health. 10% of maximum health. 50 magic points. Jackpot, you're rich. Ah, oh, there's nothing else particularly special. Oh, 
I've nothing to click on in those bloody villages at all. Finally, we've arrived. This is Dracus? No, Shao. This is a house in Dracus. Smart ass. Yes, we're in Dracus. My friend Louis used to stay here, but it's been empty for years. Dracus is very hot this time of year, so be prepared for the heat outside. I fucking hate heat. I fucking hate guard dogs. Rat scroll in and out of the brokered and decrepit stove. This place has a lot of charm. It's been abandoned for quite some time now. 7 XP for clicking on a button. I see a chest. The chest contains small bag of supplies. Large mana potion. Large health potion. Elixir. Chakapot. These must have belonged to Louis. We were friends since childhood, but he grew very sick. Everything happens for a reason. Perhaps these supplies were destined to aid us on our journey. Or perhaps not. <laughs> perhaps. Uh, the box is filled with old colours that smell of smoke and dirt. And, um, save. Louis' old house. We've got 700 shillings, but no one to spend it on. Uh, tell me about the table. The table hasn't seen use in many years. Oh, I want to use that rusty key. You weren't kidding about hate. Yeah, you get used to it. You, you seriously don't, mate. Trust me. You're not wearing a full set of steel armor that holds heat like Pontius holds a pipe. Master Flare? <laughs> you know, you could take it up. And risk surprise attack from the Dark Bard's demonic summonings? Oh, I think not. Do it yourself. Oh, was she trying to seduce him then? Let's take a look around and see if we can dig up any information that might help us locate the Dark Bards. Oh, there's all my boobs gone. Uh, we can't get in those buildings, no. Nope. Uh, right. Nope. Uh huh. Shop, 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 shop. Dracus General Store. And someone that sells stuff. Chest is empty. Coins click around inside the back. Hey, don't touch that. Alright. Hi, welcome to my shop. I'm Roland. How can I help you find folks today? Roland has in the keyboards, probably. What sort of things do you sell? Yeah, take a look for yourself. Right, first off, what kind of things do you buy? Uh, we don't need a wood shield. Uh, key items. Not selling either of them. Uh, weapons, a long sword. Uh, significantly worse than the other stuff that we've got. Uh, items, there's no point selling all this kind of crap. We can actually use it. Cocaine, cocaine powder. Don't sell it. Uh, jackpot, you're rich. Literally just for selling it. Holy shit, it's worth 500 gold. The Dirty Orcana, worth 17 shillings. Is that literally it? I should fetch a few shillings. And a golden coin, 75 shillings. Uh, -bum 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 -bum. Right, what do you actually sell then? Um, no weapons. You, you sell that to which we already have fucking millions of. See you soon. Right, so we've got loads of money and nothing to fucking spend it on. Uh, chest types of sales over the course of the last three months. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I've already read all of these ones. <laughs> Is that a map of the Dark Forest again? Of the Kalin Desert. Sits atop the desert. Mixed batch of rolled up linens. Harvest on the tabletop. Right. Is there a weaponsmith? There's a pub. The pub is where the, uh, the damn dead are walking. I never thought I'd see the day. We don't let anyone in and out. We've got a war on our hands. A war with the undead. Uh, magic shop over there. Let's go in the pub. The Dracus pub. Hey there, I'm Willie. If you need a room, find the inn upstairs. If you need food or drink, I can help you here. Uh... Oh, 
have a good one. Catch you. Super guard land. Uh, does he sell beer? No. Mixed herb tea. This is my favourite place to eat. I travelled from the north road, just from the north, just to get here. It's too bad the roads aren't safe to travel anymore, though. My ship was attacked by some strange creatures on my way to relax. I don't know where it was, but it sure did a lot of damage to my vessel. The king has done a great job at defending Dracus from the walking dead, but we can't hold out forever. I've heard that things will only get worse before they get better. Hey, have you been to the Twisted Forest? My sibling, go sell some very interesting things if you happen to be in the market for mind enhancers. Ked and Co. Been there, done that. Still, probably going back. Life is sadness. Everything is a fucking emo. Someone needs to discover herbs. Or goth, maybe, rather than emo. Excuse me, can you not see we're busy? What's up, fish? Bitch, it might be. <laughs> Let's leave them to their meals. No, I want to talk to the blonde girl. Yeah. You've earned seven experience points for bothering people in the pub. Back off, I'm not interested in talking. God, they're all fucking very hostile, aren't they? Uh, we're going to look at them all. We are going to look at them all. They're things I can look at. What's in this room? Oh, a posh guy on his own. Dracus Counselor. The king better get this situation under control. The undead will stop at nothing to seize our beautiful town. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Why would they light a fire in this? That's a very good question. <laughs> well, upstairs to uh, have a rest rather than using a tent. Not that we've actually used a tent yet. The box on the counter fills with extra linens. On the table rests a sign in book. If you plan on resting here, we're supposed to sign in a name to the record keeper. It's best not to leave a paper trail in case the dark bard's still around. Good idea. Pontius is now level 9. Quick move learned. Oink, 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 oink. Uh, can we just rest? Yes. <laughs> it's fairly innocuous resting music. Well, no. Ooh! Golden coin. I'll flog that for. Oh, I call dibs. <laughs> Can't call dibs. I'm the one that found it. Nope, oh, dibs. Rolled up leaf. Pontius is size wide. Is that what I think it is? An agile herb. Not that kind of herb. Fuck my life. <laughs> he was promising some, uh, some weed up here, wasn't he? Items. Items field. Agile herb. Uh, agility by three. We're going to give it to Alexandria again. Uh, bit. Um, those stairs go upstairs, definitely, and those stairs also go upstairs. I they couldn't be bothered to uh, change them. <laughs> Have two different icons for stairs. Uh, okay, Dracus is walled off. Magic shop. 
Dracus Magical Emporium. Hello, welcome to Delilah's Magical Emporium. Please browse my wares. Uh, Cronky. Oh, you sell all sorts of herbs. Uh, right, wait, right, so we've got gold coin to sell. Golden coin. Uh, right, weapons. No, let's just sell. Uh, buy. Gloves of magical protection. Magically imbued gloves that offer defense against magical attacks. Uh, yes, so MDF is definitely magical at defense. Boots of swiftness. Ring of strength. Crystal ball. How much is it? 200 quid. Collar of the Berserker. Oh, increases attack but reduces defense, but his defense is already pretty hard. Pendant of the Archer actually is worth a fortune. Ring of Half Casting. It reduces the mana cost of spells by 50%. Wow. Divine Symbol uh, increases a little bit of luck. Uh, a lucky charm just increases that. Braces of. Uh, excuse me, the earth. Winged Boots of Mobility. Now, if I buy them for our tracker, she's absolutely guaranteed to go first, well, pretty much. Uh, I'll probably also give um, the... I think it was Boots of Swiftness. The Boots of Swiftness, wasn't it? So, no, she couldn't wear both. But that would be pretty much all of our money. But she'd be able to weaken the attacks of pretty much everything. Belt of War. Uh, ah, mages, a mask. And oh, that's pretty fucking good. Sorcerer's robe, that's even fucking better. And it's dead cheap. Stop a fucking power! <laughs> oh, look at that! Plus 30 attack! Uh, scroll on, they're worth a thousand. They're only. They're, they're only 20 experience, so. You know. I'll just flog them. Magic Lantern's only under 20 quid, so it doesn't matter that we didn't slog it. Uh, right, there's all sorts of herbs. That staff of power is fucking mental. Oh, the sorcerer's robe is like half the price. Sorcerer's robe it is. Equip. Pontius, optimize. Uh, I don't think Alexandra is going to be able to use. Nah. Uh. Oh, hang on. No. All right. Yeah, I want to sell silk cloak. Uh, for how much? 50. So it's 50 quid that we didn't have before. There's a curtain there. Let's go through that. Oh, no, no, no. No one is allowed back there. That's my own personal reading room. But, mm. All right, fine. The town of Dracus. Oh, graves. Rest in peace, R. Harold. Rest in peace, B. Kumar. V go to D White and J Kessel. Well, maybe I'm supposed to know who they are. I'm not going down any more well shell. Yeah, me neither. I don't know if I'm supposed to know who those guys are, but I don't know who those guys are. Uh, not going in there just yet. Let's go in here. The blades of Dracus. Welcome to my shop. 
You buy, you leave. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> That's a little rude. If you know like rule, you leave. If you have shilling and you stay, you buy. <laughs> I'm about to burn you inside fucking shop to the ground. You dry, you die. <laughs> oh, I think it's just got way out of hand. I say let him go at it, shall. It's free entertainment. You have no you have money or you no have money. We have money. Well then, like I said, welcome to my shop. <laughs> uh, plus 50 attack for Shal. Plus 56 attack for uh, whatever her name is, Alexandria. Mm. I think I'm 922 though. So I don't think he needs any more different. Magic imbued steel plate. No, 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 no need for that. Paladin's helm. Magically imbued. Um, I've only got 922. Need to chill out. <laughs> uh, oh my god, the bow of power would have been good. There's nothing else we can sell, is there? How much is that? It's seven shillings, not worth selling. The elixir's 200 shillings each. I'm fucking... I'm, I'm buying that shit. Yeah, I'm buying that shit. <laughs> attack than Charlotte. You just become a complete murder demon. Uh, I don't think we need to keep the silver crossbow anymore either. Uh, 125 shillings. What, what, right, come on, what else? We'll keep the stimulants. Um... Uh, tents, how much are they? 250 shillings each. Although, to be fair, we might need to keep them. Uh, I'd love to sell cocaine powder. Or cocaine powder, I should say. Uh, buy. There's still a feathered cap, but it's only a defense. Silver plate mail. Paladin's helm. The Paladin's shield. You go now. No, we, 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 we've just completely OP'd the hunter, so uh, I think we'll be fine. Dracus Community Church. There doesn't seem to be anything to click on. Maybe the uh, the organ. Hello, friends. I'm Sister Wisted. This one's Twisted Sister. I'm Shal, and this is... I don't sound rude, but I care not for who your friends are. The only thing that matters at this moment is you, Paladin. What do you mean, Sister? I can sense purity in your heart, Shal. I'm unsure what you know of the undead that threat... Of the undead threat that has arisen from the tombs, but Drakus needs a saviour now more than it ever has. I believe you were sent here to save us from certain doom. Yeah, you go, shall. I can provide you with some assistance. Any help that you can provide in stopping the walking dead will be welcome. Will be welcomed with open arms, sister. Sister Wisted. Witstead. <laughs> we have a limited supply and most of it has been ordered to be divid up among town guards for defense but I can send you on your way with ten vials of holy water 
With this blessed water, you can hurt the undead threat and destroy it with a righteous vengeance and wrath. So if you run out, you'll need to come back to me to purchase more. I wish I could provide it for you at no cost, but unfortunately our funds are not unlimited here at Dracus. We have to pay a priest to come and bless the water for us on a weekly basis. Very well, I will take what you have to offer, and if I need more, then I shall turn full pockets. You received ten holy water. Blessings upon you and your friend, shall. You are going to need them for what is to come. This well gives up a cleansing aura. It will stand near its luxurious flowing waters. Your party is fully replenished. Fantastic. We don't even need a fecking rest. A holy metal symbol stands before you. Metal. May fuck bless us all on this day. Uh, it's made entirely of metal. These look just like the statues from my temples. Good omen. George organ is made of solid gold. Wonder how much this thing would sell for. I'm quite enjoying this game. Uh, okay, that's the central place. Still haven't used the rust key. Uh, talk to the chambermaids first, why not? Cinderella. One day I'm going to marry Prince. Are you really? Mm -mm -mm. Well, hello there, gentlemen and gentle lady. She's not that gentle. Not anymore, she's not she's dead hard. Oh, I like a rough girl. Sorry, Cyclops, you're not my type. Well, that kind of hurt my feelings. Well, then, it doesn't seem like you're fond of rough gals after all. What a bitch. I've been cold worse. Well, I was going to introduce most of myself and welcome you to the war room, but you can all just leave. Alexandria, have I ever told you how amazing you are at making new friends? We shouldn't be wasting time anyways. Let's go. You're not welcome here. Leave. <laughs> the sign of the wall reads, The War Room. Uh, all right, fine. It's just going to tell us over and over again not to nick stuff. Oh, I can't believe they put me on stock boy duty. I ate my job. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Consuela, I need more lemons. Oh, my good grief. I was wondering if... No. No. <laughs> you go. I clean. But... No. No. King, go home. You go now. <laughs> Seven experience from talking to Consuela. Uh, I can't be asked clicking anything in that room. I don't expect to find anything anywhere in like a royal palace type thing. Uh, what's that say? Can't read it. Hello, King. Welcome to my kingdom, outsiders. I am King Dracus. Have you come to enlist in enlist in my military? No, yes, I'm Shell, a paladin of fuck. And this is wait, or what now? A paladin of fuck, sire, the true god of metal. The fuck does that mean? <laughs> I said the same thing. It all started in my temple. The dark parts have shall. Let's save the poor king some time and just ask the city why the city is under siege, yes? I'm sure it has something to do with the Dark Bards. Ah, the Dark Bards. It must have been the Bards that strolled through here at midnight, claiming that they, would, they could perform the greatest tunes in all the land. When they performed, demons poured through the floodgates of hell. My men were forced to fight unearthly beings. So they did come through here. Yeah. They did. My soldiers cut the demons down before banishing the Bards out of Dracus and into the desert to die. However, this morning our kingdom came under siege from the walking dead. 
Looks like the bats decided they had unfinished business here, Drakus, my lord. We've lost a lot of men already, and I'm sure how much longer... I'm not sure how much longer we can hold out against the horse. We can help. We've been following the Drakus for some time now, cleaning up the messes that they leave behind. We should track them down and end their demonic rituals. We believe we know where the source of the dead is coming from. The Kylian tombs. It's where our ancestors from the old kingdom rest in peace. Well, until now. If you have any men to spare, we will gladly accept your aid and head in the troops to chase after the bards. No can do, Paladin. Our numbers have been cut too thin. We need every bit of defense we can get in Dracus. The bards will stop at nothing until everybody lies dead on the ground and every soul is reaped from your lifeless corpse. And believe me, they have the numbers to do so, and if in doubt, they will spawn them until there is none of you left. Well, what do you suppose we do? If we send men to go with you, we will ultimately succumb to their onslaught. If we stay and defend, we will run out of military eventually. I have no idea. There is one option, my lord. Don't even say it, Gracos. What choice do we have? I presume you are referring to your brother, Gracos. The one rotting in a prison cell, wrestling with the rest of the vermin down there. The one that you arrested, Gracos. That you decided to place there. Are we having second thoughts now? My lord, I did what I thought was right at the time. You called someone, in cold blood no less. But we're damned if we do, and we're damned if we don't. We have no other option, and Trecklin is an able-bodied able -bodied warlock. If anybody can help bring an end to this madness, he can. This is bullshit. <laughs> we are, not, are we not civilized men? Do we not have rules, laws to obey? Does murder only apply to some and not all? The law is the law, Grecus. Sometimes in life there are no good choices. Sometimes you must pick the lesser of two evils. And in this current debacle, I would rather deal with the devil I know than the devils outside, waiting to feast on our souls. Gracchus is right. Go at once, release your brother from his bonds, and send him with these brave travelers. Tell him that if he wishes to see the light of the day again, he will bring back the head of the, the heads of the dark parts and bring an end to this war. And if he does, all crimes will be pardoned. Preposterous! I'm sorry, Captain. Was it you or was it me who has a crown in this kingdom? It wasn't notified. I wasn't notified of change in command. Please elaborate on why my decision is unsatisfactory to you. I apologize, my lord. Yes, you do. Man, he just got bitch slapped down a notch. <laughs> yeah, he did. Totally wrecked. I thank you for your compliance, my lord. I will take these travelers to Trek. To Treklin at once. There is hope of our, for our great kingdom yet. <laughs> the Dracus cells. These are the Dracus cells. My brother has been here for quite some time now. You had mentioned something about him murdering someone? Yes. Asphetius. The man who killed my wife. Why is your brother in prison for killing a man who murdered your wife? I said killed, not murdered. It was an accident. She was out foraging for cactus pears in the desert when he approached her in his caravan. He asked if she needed a ride, and she got in. On the way back to Dracus, he didn't see the quicksand pit that was growing in size. He ran his wagon right into the heart of it. He was able to escape with his life, but not Johannes. I am so sorry. My condolences for your loss, Gracchus. My brother was so torn apart to see me suffer in her absence that he was driven mad and blinded by rage. He stalked Asphetius for many nights before striking him dead in the streets. We all go a little mad sometimes. You know about the past. I'll take you to his cell. Well, hello, brother. It's nice to see you again. It's been a while. I see you brought friends. I'm Shell, a paladin of fuck. The Metal Guard. Fuck yeah! I was not expecting that. Uh, I'm Pontius. You've probably heard of me. I don't it. <laughs> Pontius the Magician? I'm a huge fan. I've seen your shows in Grunger down a dozen times. I haven't been in a few years because of, well, you know, travel limitations. But I definitely have heard of you. I was not expecting that. And this is Alex Alexandria, our tracker. Uh, before you get any bold ideas about hitting on me, don't fret, sweet cheeks. You aren't my type. I bet you weren't expecting that either. <laughs> Pontius, shut up, please. Thank you. So, what do I? So, what do I owe the honor of this visit from such great adventurers and my dear brother? 
Freckland, I think I found a way to get you out of here. Out of here? Why would you want me out of here? Why would you want me out of here? You put me here. I was doing my job, brother. You killed someone unlawfully. For you! I did not want that, brother. And I didn't want to end up rotting for the rest of my life in a prison cell, but here we are. But it doesn't have to be this way. That's why I'm here. Dracus is under siege by hordeless hordes of walking corpses, and while you've been able to hold out for now, while we've been able to hold out for now, we've lost too many men to put faith in hope for tomorrow. So you want me to join your military? No, bro. I know that would never happen. I'm well aware of your relationship with Guard Captain Reinhold. If you join Charl and his companions in stopping the source of the dead and rising, then the king says that, we, that he will grant you a pardon for all of your crimes. And you're certain he's okay with this? It was his idea. Well then, I was not expecting that. This is your chance. Freedom, brother, and redemption. Freedom, I'm interested in. But redemption, I have nothing to redeem myself for. A tear runs from Greco's side down his cheek. That perhaps I too, brother. So, my brother says, if I join you and we stop the source of the undead, then I'm a free man. It seems to be that way, yes. Well, I don't know what kind of trouble awaits us outside those gates, but I sure am excited. Trecklin, join the party. Uh, right, what is he? He's a warlock. A paladin, a tracker, a magician, and a warlock. Uh... He's got no fecking hit points. And Pontius is pro. Why has Pontius got more hit points? <laughs> He's a fecking magician. Uh, I want to know what's behind this curtain here. Hello. I don't know where my little girl has run off to. Your little girl. When your dad started attacking, she fled the city. I hope she comes home soon. Oh, goddamn. I assure you, we'll keep an eye out in our travels. It would mean a lot to me. Thank you. Oh, he loves me. I know it. Grekos loves me. He wrote me this love letter. Well, it's not really a love letter. It's technically a restraining order. <laughs> but Grekos knows that absence makes the heart grow fonder, so he must love me. Sounds like a match made in heaven. You should totally go ask him to marry you. You think so? Pontius. I'm going to spend all of my savings on a present. Do you think Grekos likes lucky rabbit's feet? Do you think I should take them off of the rabbit first? <laughs> I think lucky rabbit's feet are so 1860 AD. 816. I'll try lucky ram's horn. Then it's settled. I shall set off to collect the horn of a ram for my love. Good luck. Ugh. She hasn't gone anywhere. I wouldn't give to sleep in... What I wouldn't give to sleep in a bed like this. Hey, don't touch my cupboard. I keep my toys in there. What kind of toys? <laughs> hmm. You there. Let me through. Hey, sorry. No trespassing. This is the King's Royal Chambers. Nobody enters. That's fair enough. <coughs> uh, what's the name again? 48. Mommy says I'm not allowed to play in the well around the well anymore. I keep falling in. This sure is a hard knock life. If only I had parents. Contemplate with Nope. That's not Nick stuff of everyone. Alright, that bell end who was angry before, I bet he's gonna fucking say something now. You're not welcome here. Leave. All right, fine. There's a lot of wealth in this castle. So, where do we go from here? Left. They had mentioned something about the dead rising from the Kaelin tombs in the desert. Well, you're in luck. I used to visit those tombs daily when I was learning the dark arts. The Kaelin desert is just west of Dracus. And let's check our check our supplies and make our way to the tombs. Uh, how much money have we got? 347. Uh, what kind of equipment has a guy got? A sorcerer's staff, nine circlet, and a ruined robe. 
Uh, I think he's probably alright, to be fair. Uh, status. Let's... Uh, 67.72. 105.42. 37.42. 54. Jesus, he's got a high attack, to be fair. 46. 65.50. 59, 59.48. 17.21. She's not a very good magical attack. Uh, now there's a 40 and 53. 79, 59. 54, 57. 39, 41. Uh, Charlotte has a uh, speedy boots, doesn't he? Yes, boots of swiftness. We're going to change that, remove it, and give it to Alexandria. To make sure that she always goes first. Uh, we need to skills trek and TP mode. Um, hopefully he heals. Uh, Make him a comrade for now. Oh. Right, we've been in there. Excuse me. Belching all the time. Nope. Yeah, we're not allowed to go, no doubt. Down no wells. Uh, maybe it's worth it. Yes. Um... Uh, no, I can't afford even that. That's safe journey. And to be fair, it's only plus five in Trekking anyway. Alright, we're going to stop it there. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Take care of yourselves. See you in a bit.